time for a road trip and I got a special guest. Hey Chicky, you ready to go on a road trip? Uh, his mother is driving somewhere today, so Chicky, you're stuck with me today. You want to go? Want to go to a park? Road trip? Chicky, you ready? Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. Let's go walking. Come on, Chick Chick. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy, Chicky Chicky. You ready? Let's do it. Hey, chick chick. Let's meet some of our friends over here, chicky. Geese family. Looks like they have Christmas lights up. All right, Chickory and I are at Vasona County Park. Um, you probably noticed in the car that Chickory, we call him Chicky, didn't look so happy. <laughs> uh, he has like separation anxiety when he is away from his, his mom. So even dogs are suffering in some way or another. So anyways, I hope this helps get him out the doors. He does love walking and running. So we'll see what happens. What you sniffing?
Hmm, which path to take? Which way, Chicky? This way? So I have a couple of updates. Um, see, this video is coming out on Friday. And on Friday, I will be um, selecting random people, uh, two people, to receive a free signed copy of my book. So if you're interested in getting a copy, if you don't have one, uh, check out my video, Everything is Your Teacher, and just make a comment on it. And I'll take all the names, put it in the random generator, and select a winner. Next, um, I keep getting asked how people can support this YouTube channel. And there's really two ways, the best ways you can do that. First of all is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, liking the videos helps. Commenting on the videos also helps. It helps the algorithm for YouTube to get the videos out there. Also, for those of you who are disliking my videos, thank you very much because that also is considered engagement according to YouTube. And that's also <laughs> helping the videos uh, get out there too. And it's also get, helping uh, the videos get into the right hands. So when you dislike a video, YouTube will show you less of my videos, which is good because these videos aren't for everybody. If you're liking the videos, uh, YouTube will recommend more of my videos uh, when you're browsing around on YouTube. The second way you can support this channel is joining us on Patreon. So many of you know I've created this project to help support people in their practice. So it allows me more time to create videos and do live streams and do one-on-one -on -one sessions, which people are using now, which is awesome. Um, so you can check it out down in the link below if you want to join us on Patreon. I made it, uh, I kind of clarified the tiers to be more helpful for everybody. All right, so Chicky and I are going to continue our walk.
狗可以吗？对，先看一下，有看有看有对旁边狗可以。结果一个安一下，哇，好可爱，好可爱，好可爱，好可爱。Oh, check, check. Time to relax. Hey, chick, chick. You want some water? Good boy. Yum, yum. Good boy, chick, chick. Yummy, yummy. Must have been hungry. You want to eat all this? There you go. All that walking made you hungry. Last one. Good boy, Chick Chick. Chicky and I are taking a little rest here in this beautiful park. Remember, the first time I went here was, uh, I think my son was. Almost two. I remember we took him on a little train ride here and he cried the whole time. <laughs> it was a beautiful park. Um, I'm glad that I could share this with you all. It's good for me to get out and uh, get off the computer and get fresh air. At our last live stream listening party, the Zen Mind Beginner's Mind listening party, Suzuki Roshi mentioned a quote from Zen Master Lin Chi. And Zen Master Lin Chi once said, if you meet the Buddha on the road, kill him, right? It's a very powerful statement. In fact, a lot of people um, kind of get offended by this <laughs> statement, or at least I've heard it before. But it's really important statement, right? Because it means becoming independent. Because often so many people attach to the teacher, right? They attach to the teacher's words, or maybe they attach to the teacher's actions, right? Sometimes they like the teacher, sometimes they don't like the teacher, or they depend on the teacher, right? They follow them around everywhere they go. But as we know, this only causes suffering for ourselves. And then we bring that suffering on to other people. So kill the Buddha means becoming independent, believing in our true self, our own Buddha nature. So it's not about physically killing something, right? Another way of saying this is that Zen doesn't have the answers, right? So people are always trying to depend on Zen. But there is no Zen. And Zen doesn't do anything. We are the ones doing something, right? Right now in this moment. We use these great questions in Zen to see the answer in the question, right? The question itself is the answer. So Zen doesn't have their answer, you do. We just have to ask deeply, what is this? Why are we here? What is the point of all of this, right? What is this I? It's the same question the Buddha had that led him on to his journey. When we can use these questions to really pierce through this concept of ourself and to experience our true self, then we believe in ourself. There's a story, I believe it's in Dropping Ashes on the Buddha. It's with Zen master Hyung Bang. So a student came to Zen master Hyung Bang and asked, please teach me the Dharma. And Zen master Hyung Bang said, I'm sorry, but my Dharma is too expensive. So the student said, well, how much does it cost? And uh, Zen master said, more than what you have. <laughs> so the, the monk uh, pulled out a few coins and uh, the Zen master said, sorry, but my Dharma is much more expensive than that. Even if you brought me a pile of gold, it wouldn't be enough. So the student went off to practice Zen for a few months and then he came back and told the master, I will give you my life for you to give me the Dharma, right? And Zen master Hyung Mong said, nope, my Dharma is even more expensive that, than that. Even if you brought me 10,000 lives, it wouldn't be enough. The student went off to again and did some practicing and uh, this about a couple months later, he came back to the Zen master Hyung Bong <laughs> and said, all right, I will give you my own mind. Zen master said, your mind is a pile of stinking garbage. Even if you brought me 10,000 
Minds of the Buddha, it's, my dharma is still too expensive for you. Again, the monk went off and did some Zen training. A couple months later, comes back to Zen master Hyang Bang and said, now I understand. And the student shouted, cats, right? This really loud shout. Uh, and Zen, it's used to kind of pierce through conceptual thinking. And Zen master Hyang Bang said, I'm sorry, but it's more expensive than that. <laughs> so the student went off again. This time was a little different because he, the student vowed not to return to the master until he understood this Zen master's dharma. So several months go by and the student goes to see Zen master Hyang Bang. He had some very clear realization. So he went to the master and said, now I understand. The sky is blue and the tree is green. And Zen master said, sorry, but it's more expensive than that. And this student, this monk got furious. And he said, you know what? I don't care. You can take your Dharma and shove it up your ass. <laughs> so uh, the student started to walk out the door and the student opened the door and the Zen master said, Hey, and the student turned around and the Zen master said, please take care of my dharma. This story is very important because it means believe in yourself. Don't look to Zen for the answers. Don't look to a teacher for the answers. Look inside yourself very sincerely, very deeply. Then the dharma will become very clear. All right, everybody, uh, Chicky's getting a little anxious to get home to see his mom. So uh, thank you for um, letting me share the scenery with you and uh, listening to my thoughts for the day. Uh, I will see you soon. Take care. Run around, Chicky. Come on, Chicky. Go, go, go. Ah, Chicky, go, 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 go. <laughs> Get some exercise. I gotta get you all tired out before we go home.